Nitos! Worldwide fans of the planet's hottest entertainment with an edge. I'm in Fuego here welcoming you to my namesake program, En Fuego Tainment. That's right, y'all. So stoked to have you here with me for a rare trailer reaction. Yes, I know I just did, uh, what, The Mandalorian like around a week or so ago, maybe even a little less than that, no, like four or five days this past weekend. But, uh, yes, if it's a big enough release that I am supremely stoked about, Obviously, I am going to give my thoughts, and that's what I'm about to do here for the final trailer, presumed final trailer, for the Joker, that or just Joker, I should say. I think it's just the one word, Joker, um, starring none other than, uh, yeah, Mr. Joaquin Phoenix, of all people, somebody who never, never would have been thought to star in a comic book movie, but R-rated Joker, Todd Phillips directing, and I've been a big fan of Todd Phillips since, I mean... Geez, going all the way back to silly uh, ninny shithead stuff like uh, Road Trip and Old School. And I wasn't as big on the Hangover movies as some people, but I like Due Date, uh, I mean, War Dogs. I mean, pretty much everything he's done, I've been a fan of. So this is going to be very interesting, him delving into this Scorsese-inspired dark territory. Um, I know my co-host on the Horror Show, Cecil, has already put up his thoughts. So if you are coming over here after watching that, I extend my sincerest thanks. And if you have... Which for whatever reason stumbled upon this first when his will probably have been up for a few hours by the time mine is finally hitting please uh you know just do that whole reciprocation thing and it's much appreciated because him and i are a team at the end of the day so yes for once i actually do have headphones all set and ready to go i'm like kind of prepared this time and uh yeah let's see what this uh newest look of um, this craziness is going to entail now yes beyond the r rating they have also said that um this is not going to follow any comic lore of any kind. They basically were forewarning people, hey, we're not, like, drawing from, you know, some sort of prior Joker story or whatever. This is just our own Elseworlds kind of take on uh, the Clown Prince of Crime. So let's see, uh, let's see how pissed off people might get. Looking very sad, despondent. Oh, well, not as bad. He's not that bad, guys. Can you please stop bothering my kid? <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Arthur, I have some bad news for you. That laugh, man. <laughs> He's just working on it. This is the last time we'll be meeting. You don't listen, do you? You just ask the same questions every week. They're just totally in the making. Job. Are you having any negative thoughts? Sympathetic character. All I have are negative thoughts. Whoa. He's like, I'm just being real, y'all. In a world where everyone thinks they could do my job, check out this guy. When I was a little boy and told people I was going to be a comedian, everyone laughed at me. Well, no one's laughing now. <laughs> you can say that again, pal. <laughs> Uh, interesting dream sequence. <laughs> Let's all feel bad for the it's Joker. So awful, isn't it? Domino there. For my whole life, I didn't know if I even really existed. But I do. Send in the clowns. Starting to notice. Get it. That's a creepy shot. Is this a joke to you? Whoa. Thomas Wayne punching him in the face. Uh, Murray, one small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? Interesting. It's an urban terrorism vibe they got going down. Send in the How did I know? Ha ha ha! That's funny. I don't see it in IMAX, huh? Alright, well, I'm gonna roll it back here real quick just without any sound going. And, uh, yeah! I'm. I have really rather mixed feelings about the way that they're portraying the Joker as this super sympathizable character um but it's a different take right it's not 
this isn't in canon DC, whatever. I mean, how long have they prided themselves on the, the Elseworlds sort of storytelling? And I've always really loved those, personally, you know? I mean, it's essentially like the what-ifs in Marvel. So, um, yeah, this one I definitely felt more so maybe than even the last one. Like, I felt less an eeriness about him and more of just an odd tone with the whole sympathetic portrayal. And, you know, I... Yeah... I'm I'm very excited for this movie. Nonetheless, though, I'm not going to deny that whatsoever. Just Joaquin Phoenix playing this character in general, I'm just extremely excited about. But I'm, I'm really curious how they're going to play out the downward spiral of him embracing, obviously, these dark feelings that are in there somewhere. So, yeah, and he looks really, I mean, even without the makeup and stuff, with, like, you know, the bags on the eyes and the sunken in face and everything, and just so insanely skinny, like... I don't know, and they're obviously not going to portray Thomas Wayne as a very positive character at all. I'm assuming he's going to be kind of like a douchey, super rich, whatever. Uh, we assume from the last trailer that we did see a very young Bruce in the film, but once again, this is Joker. Uh, this isn't anything to do with, I mean, we're assuming no Batman of any kind whatsoever, not even in a flash forward or, you know, whatever. Um, Tim trying to do the whole romancing thing. I'm not sure where all that's going to be going and stuff. But yeah, him getting punched in the face right there. Curious how all well, you know Tim just inciting these riots and all of this craziness. How that's going to how that's going to pan out? Presumably in the third act, as his fame is rising, as he gets this spot on the show that he envisioned being on. Because uh, that's obviously somewhere. I don't know about the whole Patch Adams thing we see with him in the. I mean, maybe that's him in in an asylum, presumably, as opposed to just trying to entertain people. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, this doesn't, for me, this doesn't really give me as much to speculate about, perhaps, as I was initially hoping. I think that this is going to be pretty, pretty cut and dry, perhaps. So, I don't know, guys, uh, what did you think about this trailer? That's at least my thoughts in a nutshell. I'm still very excited about it, but I'm not particularly, like, blown away or anything. But visually, it looks great. I'm sure the performances are going to be on point, and it's really just... The light that they're kind of shining upon him. It's a, I mean, I guess you did sympathize with him in the in the killing joke and in, in that backstory and everything, which they kind of loosely adapted for uh, the original Burton. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I should really focus more so upon that as opposed to, you know, the the Ledger portrayal, which was where it was like just lies about backstory after lies about backstory and. Well, Ledger is not my favorite Joker, personally. Um, still, I, I mean, Mark Hamill is probably my favorite Joker, just like Kevin Conroy is my favorite Batman, but I guess that doesn't quite count. So, um, I don't know. What did you guys think about this? Am I being a little too overly judgmental, or am I just being like, hey, look, this they're really making you sympathize even more so. I, I mean, they are kind of turning him, from what it seems to me, into this sort of, like, rousing anti... Like, I'm almost getting, like, a Natural Born Killers vibe. A little bit, you know, with just the 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 media glorification and just the weird putting putting these presumed dangerous and horrible people maybe even on a pedestal. I don't know. We'll see how it all plays out. But uh, the October release, I'm sure this is gonna this is gonna do very very well for Warner Brothers. I I do not doubt that it's gonna be a a super super hit despite the R rating. So I have been Jaime in Fuego. You can find more on all social media sectors like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, obviously here on YouTube where I just put up reviews of Loose, which is a smaller indie drama starring uh, Octavia Spencer, Tim Roth, and Naomi Watts, one of the best dramas I've seen this year. But in a nice counterbalance, I put up a review of Good Boys recently as well and uh, upcoming review of The Peanut Butter Falcon, which is another indie from the uh, Little Miss Sunshine team that I'm very excited to check out. So, uh, yes, uh, if you want more of the YouTube stuff from me, of the spectacular variety, jump over, as I mentioned earlier in this video, to the Horror Show channel uh, YouTube so that you can see uh, Cecil's reaction to this trailer if you haven't already. And also we do one, sometimes two episodes a day uh, this weekend, this Saturday, uh, sometime, uh, sometime in the 4 o'clock uh, Pacific time hour. I am going to be doing my live Hail to Stephen King book club discussion all about The Dead Zone for its 40th anniversary, which just happened uh, this August. But uh, on the Horror Show channel, we also do 
uh, our own trailer reactions, obviously, but book reviews, uh, movie reviews, television reviews, comic reviews. We do convention coverage, video game Let's Plays, all kinds of rad status stuff. And lastly, every Monday evening, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, I am on the Willis Scredia YouTube channel discussing show business, box office numbers, both domestic and international, looking ahead to the following weekend, looking previously at the past one, and a little bit of movie news sprinkled in just to keep things interesting. So, I have been Fuego. Y'all have been awesome, and until until the real of Ka comes around once more. Hasta luego, sin amigos, but I'm hopeful that we get to share more of this film palaver sooner rather than later. And until then, remember, keep a smile on your face.